get so excited. In archaeology, you're looking at small bits of evidence and trying to build up the whole story. It's very difficult to try and build up a picture of people's lives from the material that they just discarded. In the far south of Kush, just after the Nile leaves the fourth cataract, a lone mountain rises from the desert. Jebel Barkal holds the key to a momentous shift in Kush's history. At the foot of Jebel Barkal, Egypt built a massive fortress to defend its southern frontier capital. The pharaohs were to make Jebel Barkal the second most important religious complex in their empire. When the Egyptians first arrived in this area, they decided that one of the ancestral homes of their state god Amun was actually this mountain. Jebel Barkal is a unique feature with a large pinnacle sticking out of the front and the Egyptians named this mountain the Pure Mountain and believed that it was the southern home of their state god Amun who actually dwelt within the mountain and the pinnacle was the Uraeus, the symbol of kingship. The Uraeus, or the cobra, adorns the crown of all pharaohs. But for all the power that Egypt's pharaohs drew from Jebel Barkal, there's hardly a trace above ground of the great religious complex they built here. Most of what we actually see on the site at uh, the foot of Jebel Barkal today dates from a later period. But beneath these later temples, there were earlier Egyptian temples the fact that there was a large fortress here, I mean, one would expect to be able to find these Egyptian fortresses were absolutely massive structures, but we've neither found remains of the town, of the fortress, or of...